Hi there! Today I'm going to talk to you about physics. What is physics? In physics you apply a lot of different forces to objects. There are so many different forces, like gravity, friction, spring, wind resistance, and so many more. And all these forces have their own formula, so we can calculate exactly how much Newton each force applies. But today I want to specifically talk to you about physics in computer simulations. Let's take this apple for an example. In a physics simulation, what types of forces are applied on this apple? Let's start with the basics, gravity. With the formula, force is mass times gravity. But we can't apply an amount of Newton to an object and expect it to move. A computer doesn't know how to do that. So we need to calculate the acceleration. The formula is acceleration is force divided by mass. If we combine these formulas, you can see that the mass is in there twice. So we can get rid of the mass. So all objects fall on the same speed in a basic physics simulation. Next question. We have this trampoline, and we want our apple to bounce upwards. But what we currently have, the apple will fall straight through the trampoline. So we'll have to apply some forces when the apple hits the trampoline. The forces that we need to apply is an acceleration impulse and torque. But wait. What is torque? And the acceleration impulse. How do I calculate this? This next part might seem a little bit difficult to you or hard to understand. But bear with me, it's just a little bit of math. We have two apples both with their own velocity and mass. Then we have to find the intersection points. This is important for calculating the torque. The first thing that we need to calculate is the impulse. If you're really interested in knowing how this works exactly, search for collision response. Now comes the tricky part, calculating the denominator. The formula is not the easiest, but with pretty colors, everything becomes nice. Now that we have the impulse, we need to use it and apply velocity and torque to the apples. The normal that I use in this formula is the collision normal. After we apply the velocity and torque, the apples should now move away from each other and rotate accordingly. Thanks for watching. 